I will be telling you why your skincare products are not effective when you make them and sell why your clients complain that the skincare product you made or you formulated are not effective that is because every ingredient has their own do's and don'ts and if you don't know those do's and don'ts you will be formulating wrongly with them Hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel it's hbm if you're new to my channel kindly subscribe to my channel like and share my video guess what guys i bought my canon m50 Woo! so i'm so excited right now because i finally got my dream camera i hope you're happy for me today we are talking we are not doing practical we are talking there are some basic things you need to know as a skincare formulator. Even if you're not a skincare formulator, even if you make DIYs yourself, you're, you're, you're doing self-learning, there are some things you need to know as a skincare formulator and I'll be talking about that right here. Okay, so before I dive straight into this video, if you've not subscribed to my second YouTube channel, HBM Uche, what are you waiting for? Go subscribe to my channel, go and support your girl there. And I'm giving a shout out because nobody is asking for shout outs. So I'm only giving that shout out to the person who have asked. I'll keep shouting her out on my channel. So I'm giving a shout out to Chini Gifty channel. Please do go subscribe to Chini Gifty channel. The link to our channel is down there in my description box. So you see the link to our channel and also go and subscribe to HBM Uche channel. So you find two YouTube channel link down in my description box. So do go subscribe and watch and comment that you're coming from HBM Organic Beauty. Okay, thank you very much guys. So if you're new to my channel, you're welcome if you're passing by kindly stop to subscribe view this video listen to what i want to say as long as you apply skincare products on your body except if we don't use to apply cream on your body but if you used to apply cream on your body stop by and listen to what i want to say because what i want to say is so important uh, so many people have been complaining lately that i've not been answering my whatsapp messages so please i just want you to know that my assistant is the one handling my whatsapp messages and please you just have to be patient because most time i have a whole lot of messages like 200 and 300 and whatsapp messages it's not easy answering messages like that and we have to start from the down path so you cannot send me message now and someone who have sent me message one hour ago i will not leave that person and start attending to so i have to do it like first come first serve so i'm so sorry don't feel like i'm ignoring you i don't ignore my messages please so do not feel i'm ignoring you so you will, all the messages will be answered to so you just have to be patient uh just be patient please do you know why your skincare products are not effective do you know why you produce products for your clients and your your client will come back telling you that the skincare products are not effective yes i'm gonna tell you some basics you don't know most of you will know this because definitely if you are a skincare formulator who reads all the time and you're well trained you will know this but if you are not most people still does not know this they never pass through training that are well detailed they never had this well detailed training yeah so that is why i really want to bring this topic this talk right here on this channel i will be telling you why your skincare products are not effective when you make them and sell why your clients complain that the skincare product you made or you formulated are not effective that is because every ingredient has their own do's and don'ts and if you don't know those do's and don'ts you will be formulating wrongly with them okay so the number one ingredients in skincare production i would like to talk about is our aha aha is alpha hydroxy acid 
we have our b h a now i'm talking of our a h a our alpha hydroxy acid uh, our lactic acid our uh, glycolic acid our citric acid malic acid oh can i still remember more yeah so those are our um alpha hydroxy acid when working with all this acid rules we have principles that backs it up when i formulate a lotion with lactic acid and i want it to be a peeling lotion or i want it to be an exfoliating lotion there is an extent to which you have to balance the ph level too for that lactic acid to be potent in that cream i hope you get let's assume that i'm making um a lotion or a serum with glycolic acid like if you can remember on one of my videos i drop on this channel uh i think the dark dark knuckle serum if you can check you will notice that i use i use a house to make that serum i use glycolic acid and i use lactic acid and the, my final ph level was 3.5 now if you're making any serum or lotion with a hair and you want it to give you that exfoliating uh, effect you you want it to take off um spot because glycolic acid is very good for clearing off spots you want it to be super effective if you're balancing the ph level the ph level must be at three to four basically for me i prefer three to three point five whenever i'm working with my hair has and uh, probably I'm making a peeling lotion. I want to make uh, anything to take off uh, spots from my face or anything to clear off tough spots uh, or I'm making knuckle serum and all that. The final pH level when I'm using the ha ha is 3 to 3.5 and if you don't know how to balance the pH level of your skincare products, I have a video on this channel on how I balance the ph level of my product so do go watch that video out so that's for a hair because if you make a lotion or you make a serum and you call it concentrated serum probably you made it with a lactic acid glycolic acid and at the end of your formulation you're getting 6.5 you're getting 5 you're getting 4.5 believe me you've killed the potential of that aha you've killed the potential of that acid i'm telling you believe me it will not be potent it won't be potent so for you to see the effectiveness of your acid your aha acid leave the ph level at 3 to 3.5 and another mistake i see skincare formulators do is that most people don't know acid to combine or not to combine together most people don't know the kind of natural cosmetics ingredients they can combine or not combine together for crying out loud you call yourself a skincare formulator and you're combining a hair with niacinamide do you know what that causes on your skin in fact that can cause redness of skin because the um um the aha will convert the niacinamide to niacin and it causes redness of skin so you don't combine niacinamide with aha if i would you even combine these two together because the ph level does not even work on the same level um niacinamide um is seven uh, six to seven then alpha hydrosy that is aha acid are uh, three point five or lesser than four in ph level so you see that the two does not even work together how will you balance the two? So do not make the mistake of combining niacinamide with ahas even with your b aha your b aha is your uh, salicylic acids do you wonder why some people will make organic cream organic oh, is not chemical they formulated organic cream and they sold it out to a client and the client will come back complaining of someone do you know the cause it's not because you did not use pure ingredient it's not because you did not uh, sell organic products to that person because everybody believe organic products shouldn't give sunburn shouldn't react on a person's skin or, or your client's skin but the mistake might have come through you 
mixing two ingredients that does not align that does not work together i hope you get for me if i'm making skincare products and i'm using lactic acid i'm using a glycolic acid i always try to consider people's skin because i am selling to varieties of people i'm not making it for myself i'm not making it for only one person and again i don't know the kind of skin everybody has and so many people will be buying that skincare products you know even the person that have dry skin will buy person that have oily skin will buy normal skin will buy so what i do when i'm working with um aha is that i use aha as yes at ah yes i use it at five percent because if you want to introduce aha to some people most people are out there they've never used anything that contains glycolic acid most people are there they've never ever used something that contains glycolic acid so for first timer you're giving a person a uh, cream or glycolic acid cream or lactic acid cream anything any cream that contains any of this aha you have to introduce that aha to them at the lowest concentration so maybe now you made a an exfoliating lotion for a client you start your um uh, your glycolic acid or your lactic acid with five percent then after that person might have finished using that cream you can introduce ten percent to that client but the highest i recommend to use or to use for your skin is 10% of aha 10% of aha and we all know aha is so sensitive to sun like we are applying aha products any product that contains aha be careful with the way you spread yourself under the sun because you have every tendency to burn easily and again yeah let me talk about something those of you that buy different kind of serum you buy vitamin c serum you buy um you buy um niacinamide serum you buy this one serum you will now use everything on your face at the same time ah oh my god when the reaction will come you will not like yourself this is it this is the best way to use different acid together that does not go remember i said you cannot use niacinamide and glycolic together and again you can still use it together ask me how this is how so if you want to use this niacinamide probably you have niacinamide serum we all know niacinamide is good for taking off sunburn very good for sunburn niacinamide is good for blemishes for freckles yes and glycolic acid or lactic acid also is great this acid are great acid lactic acid is being derived from milk glycolic is being gotten from sugar cane now glycolic acid also works for sunburn it takes uh, dark spots away from your face but this is the way you have to use those two separate products together now let's assume that you applied um your niacinamide uh, in the morning you can apply your glycolic acid in the night then if you must use the two that night or in the morning apply it this way after you've applied your glycolic acid probably your glycolic acid is a serum or a cleanser let that glycolic acid sit on your face for 30 to 40 minutes after 30 to 40 minutes you can go in and apply another uh, serum which is your niacinamide on it but you combining the two together in a bottle it does not make sense it does not work together but when you use it as separate hours you will not react to any of them because you give space in between so i hope you get guys and again uh when it comes to a has and ph level like i said a has ph level uh three to three point five or at least lesser than four so if you make any aha serum or aha face cream you want it to be super effective like you want to get that lightning effect you have to balance the the ph level have to be three to three point five or lesser than four not greater than four now your ascorbic acid which is your vitamin c also is the same thing is the same thing so whenever you work with vitamin c don't don't balance it at ph level five don't balance it at ph 4.5 let it be balanced at three 
0.5 so that it will be effective okay guys so i think i've been able to pass the message i want to pass across to everyone so in case you've been formulating skincare product and you're not getting it right i hope this video i've, I've been able to help you or you make your skincare product yourself I hope this video also has been able to help you but for you to check the pH level of your skincare product you need to have a pH meter so you need to purchase a pH meter because you cannot be checking your pH with your hand or by gauging it with your eye so you need to have a pH meter so tomorrow I'm gonna talk about your ahas and your B aha so I'm gonna be telling you the difference between these two acid and I'll be telling you different functions that they do how they work separately that is the B H A and the A H A so for you to be good at whatever skincare product you're formulating you really need to watch this video so watch out and don't forget to subscribe thank you very much bye